everybody, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. That's right. We didn't do shoutouts last week. All of you know what's going on and our situation is kind of a little bit tough right now. I'm even going to change things up a little bit right now. I'm not going to be answer or asking a question of the week. Kevin is going to continue to do his trivia, but I'm going to hold off on doing question of the week while I am here dealing with everything. So, with that said, let's get started. Ah, we have lots of new people to welcome to the neighborhood. B-Batch, welcome to the neighborhood. Peace, love, and mascara. Welcome to the neighborhood. Stacy Paris. Welcome to the neighborhood. Haley Camo Girl. Welcome to the neighborhood. And she's over from One Proud Mama. Julie Hazelberger. Welcome to the neighborhood. And she's over from Angie on YouTube. Hoo-Hoo and Zulu, welcome to the neighborhood. Also over from Angie on YouTube. GWL Rogers, I'm so very sorry. I missed giving you a shout out two weeks ago. So here's a shout out to you and a special welcome to the neighborhood. So sorry I forgot you. Stephen War 30, welcome to the neighborhood. Sheila Smith, welcome to the neighborhood. Yasmin Dan, welcome to the neighborhood. Raheem Anderson, welcome to the neighborhood. Bonnie Parkin, welcome to the neighborhood. The Mad Hatter Owl, welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. Kathy Brookhauser. Been here from the be from day one, and this is her first comment. Welcome to the neighborhood and to commenting, Kathy. Sue Hennessy. The name sounds very familiar, so I'm not sure if I have already or not, but welcome to the neighborhood to you, Sue. The Fab Four. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood, and I am so very, very happy to welcome back to the neighborhood, Anthony and family. We've missed you guys, so glad to have you back. If I have missed anybody, or I've said anybody's name wrong, please let me know, and we will correct that as soon as possible. Okay, we got a couple of announcements. Happy birthday to Tanya Hammer's daughter, Miranda, which was on March 2nd. Happy birthday, Miranda. And Michael D. Santa, we gave a shout out to his friend's daughter, Molly, who was having seizures. She is doing much better now. Glad to let everybody know that. Um, okay, time for thoughts and prayers. As you all know, we always need thoughts and prayers for the lone wolf. Um, at this point, thoughts and prayers for the lone wolf for more, for peace and peace for his journey at this point. So thank you for that. Kyle Stoll lost her uh, cat Tati uh, of 11 years. So. Sorry for your loss, Kaya, if we can keep Kaya and Tati in our thoughts and prayers. Nikita Johnson, still ill, but she is getting better slowly. If we can keep Nikita in our thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. Elaine Gibson, 32, lost her job. So if we can keep her in our thoughts and prayers and hopes that she finds something quickly, we would greatly appreciate that. Jerry Colburn, update on her. She did go to the hospital. She was in the hospital. This was last week, Monday through Thursday. She had bronchitis and walking pneumonia, 
an infection in her blood. She is now home and resting. So stay healthy, Jerry. We are worried about you and everybody. Please keep Jerry in your thoughts and prayers. Um... couple of people that have left comments. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody on the Valerie video that left such beautiful comments to me. And I'd like to send out some thoughts and prayers to a few people. And if I, again, if I've missed anybody on this list, I am scatterbrained right now with everything that is going on. So please, please, if I've missed you, do not take it personally. Just let me know and I'd be more than happy to give you a shout out. Um, thoughts and prayers. Rachel R. was just diagnosed, or diagnosed four years ago with clear cell sarcoma. She lost a finger and right now she is in remission. So thoughts and prayers to you that you stay in remission. Mitch's Babe 06, dad just got diagnosed with stage three prostate cancer and they think it spread to his bones and stomach. He went for scans and they're waiting for results. Thoughts and prayers go out to you and your dad and your entire family. One Proud Mama 77, she was just declared no evidence of disease, but her daughter Haley is going through test, possibly cancer. Let's please keep them in our thoughts and prayers that Haley does not have cancer and that One Proud Mama's no evidence of disease diagnosis does stick and that she doesn't, um, I can't think of the word, that she does, that, that, that it doesn't come back. Music and lyrics just found out her uncle has early onset of dementia. So if we can please keep them in our thoughts and prayers as well. <sighs> so there we have it. I also wanted to give a shout out to a few people. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more people out there. Um, these are just a few that had mentioned it. Um, Kathy Brookhauser, Tom's Show, The Jukebox, Brendan Windsor, Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and Betsy Wetsy. They have been with us since the very beginning of The Neighbors. So thank you guys for being some of the original community members of The Neighbors. And like I said, I don't have a question this week. So Kevin, take it away for the credit roll. Okay, so two weeks ago, I asked you a question about the movie Leprechaun from 1993. And the question was, where was the movie set? Uh, it was supposed to be in North Dakota. It doesn't say what city, it just says North Dakota. And those who got that correct was Terry Johnson, Tom Show, Greg Myers, Yabis92882, and Tanya Longley. Now tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and in keeping, and there's not a whole lot of movies with the St. Patrick's Day theme, but so... So tonight's question is going to be about Leprechaun, the movie franchise, all of them. What was the leprechaun's name? So there's your question. Back to you, Val. You are all part of our community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all so very much. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. You mean so much to us. Please go by and check out all of our other stuff. Thumbs up, 